Guess what's for sale? After filming the episode of Mike's Collection, everywhere I posted photos of this pickup on social media, the question kept coming up, is it for sale? Where is it located? And so I talked to the owner and he has agreed to sell this 53 Chevy 3100 five window pickup. The only thing is he didn't want to deal with the headache of selling the truck. And so I agreed to help him out with that. So that's why I'm making this video. I want to get it out there to show everybody what this pickup has to offer and hopefully find a great new owner. So I'm going to do a quick walk around to show you this pickup up close so you can take a good look at it. So as you can see, it has a homemade heavy duty front bumper. Uh, some of the bright work is missing, but uh, overall, a lot of the chrome and stainless trim is still there. It does have aftermarket wheels. Uh, it has the original drum brakes and the original suspension on the front. It does have a newer model rear end. I'll uh, climb under there and see. He says it's a 411 gear in it. I do not know if it's posi traction or an open rear end. Taking a look under here, it is a 10 volt rear end with 411 gears and you can see the dual exhaust is still there. Let's see if I can get the camera up a little bit higher. And drive shaft is still in place as well as the transmission and engine. And so it's pretty nice that it's already set up for a V8 and an automatic transmission. It makes the uh, project a lot easier. As you can see, the previous owner built a matching heavy duty rear bumper and the uh, tailgate does have a skin on it, but it is the original tailgate. You can see from this side that it is stamped. It does offer the much sought after five window cab. It does have the original dash, though there have been some additions to that, including a classic eight track player. As you can see, the hood has received some damage and uh, there's also some damage to this front fender on the left side but a lot of parts available in the market today. One thing that I will add, as mentioned in the earlier video, is that the hood trim was removed and it was later filled with Bondo. As that Bondo broke out, it started leaking into the engine bay and without an air cleaner on the engine, water got in the carburetor and locked the engine. As you can see, the original six cylinder engine has been swapped to a V8. This one has some performance parts on it. Uh, you, know, you can see a Holly carburetor uh, that is a Holly, I think it's called a Street Dominator intake. Aftermarket Maruso valve covers. It does have headers with dual exhaust, though they are showing their age. Um, An HEI distributor has also been added in the past. I can't tell you anything about the radiator. It does have a solid mounted, it looks like a stainless or aluminum fan. And the other thing that the owner mentioned is that it's a 12 to one compression engine, high compression engine. So there are probably some good speed parts. They're still salvageable. And you can see it's been converted over to a 12 volt alternator also. The door panels are missing. The trim work on that is missing. Uh, it does have an aftermarket seat in it. The transmission is a turbo 350. And you can see it has some old aftermarket gauges, a very cool eight track player. And then it also has the original speedometer and dash gauges with the aftermarket steering wheel. As you can see, the floors are really solid in this. And so um, you can see there's a little bit of rust hole there, but overall the floor is in good condition. As you can see, all the glass is still intact. There's no broken glass on the pickup anywhere, which is a nice, nice bonus. As far as the cab condition goes, you can see there's a little bit of rust at the base of the front of the cab. And then there's some rust holes here in the, in the step and the cab corners. Um, I can't really tell you whether there's some Bondo there, if that's been filled. It looks like there is some rust, but there's no holes in it. There's a wood floor intact. It's not in great condition, but it is solid. On the passenger side, again, there's some small damage. It looks like there's been some repair done over the years on that front fender. And uh, cab corners look good. Again, I don't know the condition. You do have some dents on this rear fender here, but overall, very solid pickup. Well, that is the overview of the pickup. I hope that one of you who are interested could give it a great new home. Um, now, just to be clear, I'm not the owner of the pickup. I'm helping the owner sell it. The money's gonna get paid to the owner directly. Um, he'll provide a bill of sale. So if you are interested, 
one thing you can do is send an email to me. I'll put my email address in the description below. It's farmfinds.info at gmail.com and I'll put it up on the screen also. The other way you can look at it, I'll end the description below. I'll also put a link to wherever we have it posted for sale and you can work through that link too. So I hope uh, we're able to get this sold and get it back on the road. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.